Since my last video, I'm an extreme, wasn't enough, because I can't sum this up in one video. Let's try again. This is to all haters of my videos. If you don't agree with what I have to say, then prove me wrong. And I'd be more impressed if you showed your face. Do a video response. That is the short version to why I'm doing this video. For the long version, let me explain. A couple of months ago, a commentator by the name of I'm Just That Guy, which you misspelled by the way, left me a 22 part comment on how much he completely disagreed with my America, China will never beat you video. Well, I'm a just that guy. You want to take me on? Then let's go. Because I back down from no fight and I stand up to bullies. I'm a just that guy. This is what I have to say to you. When it comes to my videos, if they piss you off, it doesn't mean I did them wrong. It just means you're not my audience. Don't understand? Then let me break it down and explain why. The goal to my videos is this is not about being generic. And this is not about being normal. You already know those stories. So there's no point for me to do those videos. There's plenty of other people telling the China will win the 21st century because they're doing so well in their economy. I'm not interested in that story because I don't agree. I do think China doesn't let its people dream. And I do think the culture holds them back. That's why I tell people they miss the point when they write in the comment section disagreeing with me. Because ultimately, they have. This is not about China's economy. This is about their people. So many people focus on what China is doing instead of why they're doing it. That's why I want to tell stories about the culture. No one talks about that. They don't talk about how much China is very materialistic and consumer driven. And if you want to go and make money, you can make money in anything. That's easy. But try making money out of something you love and doing that as a career for the rest of your life. That's hard. So it doesn't surprise me that China's economy is doing so well. Because if your only goal is to make money, you'll make money. But how much of your soul do you have to sell to do that? That lead paint in toys, that fake milk, that stolen intellectual property. In China, that's not a coincidence. So I'm a just that guy. While you're mad that I criticize China, I have enough sense to not take you seriously. Because it doesn't mean I did this wrong. It just means you're not my audience. And this is why you use words like inferior twice and superior twice. Well, that's not the type of language I use. I say words like ideals and a culture that holds me back, which says something about you more than it does me. I'm a just that guy. I don't have self-hate. And your inference that I do is totally off base. Because me criticizing China is not self-hate 
or an inferiority complex. It's, I see something wrong with the culture, and I want to talk about it. And there's nothing that says I can't. But I'm a just that guy. I know you're not mad at me. You're just mad about something in your own life. And my videos gives you the vehicle to project that anger onto me. Don't believe me? Then let me bring up another past commentator, Cindy Lee on YouTube where he brought up Alexandria Wallace three times in our conversation, and then ended up writing this number. Quote, This is nothing new. Most Asian girls feel the same way you feel, but not us Asian guys. This is something for me to explore about Asian girls. There is even a service by two Asian girls on YouTube that try to match Asian girls with Western men. These girls degrade themselves and the Asian culture. They have no pride in themselves at all." Unquote. And at this point is when I realized, oh, this is about him and his girl issues. He's not mad at me. His hate comments towards my video was really about how he can't get a girlfriend. So I'm a just that guy. It's funny how when it comes to your profile picture, it's not just you. It's you and a white girl. Now granted, this could be the love of your life. This could be your wife. But it's still interesting how this is your profile picture. It says something about you. And it's only because of the perception it gives off. You see, I'm a just that guy. This reminds me of Sydney Lee on YouTube, who researches why Asian girls date white guys. Because dating the white boyfriend or girlfriend is the ultimate prize, right? Am I just that guy? But what Sydney Lee on YouTube doesn't realize is that that has nothing to do with his life. What he should do is work on bettering himself so that no matter what race that girl is, she would want to date him. Holding on to the story of being the Asian male victim of inferiority is never going to change his life. And searching the internet about Asian female white male relationships is wasting his time. Instead, he should get a life so he can stop complaining about the fact that he has none. That's why I'm a just that guy. I can't take you seriously. Because people who use words like inferior, superior, and accuse people of self-hate have nothing to do with my life. Because like Sydney Lee on YouTube, you're not my audience. People like you complain about what's wrong with their life instead of doing anything to change it. I know this because I'm a just that guy. I don't see you doing anything, but be anonymous on the internet. I don't see you doing anything because if you have a problem with what I have to say, then prove it. Show your face and do a video response. Because writing in the comment section didn't prove me wrong. It just showed how much you like to complain and throw judgment anonymously on the internet. So I'm a just that guy. 
If you think you can do these videos better, then do it. But you won't. Because people like you don't change the world. They wait for other people to do it for them. You are about the retirement plan, while I want to change the world. And I know this because you told me. Quote, I didn't have a problem achieving mine. I got my engineering degree and ASE certifications while my family wanted me in medical. Now I'm in Asia trying my hand out in real estate investments so that hopefully when I'm 35, I can retire. These are my dreams and 100% Asian, so I can't agree with you." Unquote. But you see, I'm a just that guy. That's the problem. Because it's funny how even though you went against your parents' wishes, you still chose an engineering job and then went further on to say you want to retire at 35. Contrast that to, I have always wanted to be an artist and my aim is to ultimately help poor people dream and help Asians get over trauma. This is what separates you from me. Because this is not about a retirement plan. This is about helping people. What are you doing to contribute to this world? What are you doing to make it better? Meaning, imagine one plus billion people with your kind of dreams, I'm a just that guy, versus 300 plus million people with my kind of dreams. Who's the country that deserves to win and be the leader of the free world? I repeat, this is not about the retirement plan. This is about choosing a career that you will want to do for the rest of your life because you love it that much. And you do that by helping people. It's choosing a dream that so happens to make you money. It's not about the dream to make money. So I'm a just that guy. I know you're not one of those people because you don't want to change the world. You don't want to help me out. You just want to complain about how I choose to execute, which again, makes you miss the point that my point isn't to be 100% right. My point to doing these videos is to get you thinking. I use China as an arbitrary way to tell stories. And I'm not wrong for doing it my way. It just means that, say it with me now, you're not my audience. That's why I'm a just that guy. I don't take you seriously. And that's how I deal with haters. I pay them no mind. Because until you prove me wrong, show your face, do a video response, I can't take you seriously. So to all haters, if you have something to say, bring it. Because I'm not scared of you.